Two massive space rocks are hurtling toward the Earth, NASA said. Most of the near-Earth objects have orbits that do not bring them too close to Earth, and therefore do not pose any risk of impact. However, some of them, called potentially hazardous asteroids, are large enough and close enough to warrant more attention. A potentially hazardous object is a near-Earth object either an asteroid or a comet. With an orbit that can make close approaches to the Earth and which is large enough to cause significant regional damage in the event of impact. They are conventionally defined as having a minimum orbit intersection distance with Earth of less than 0.05 astronomical units equal to 19.5 lunar distances. And an absolute magnitude of 22 or brighter, the latter of which roughly corresponds to a size larger than 140 meters. According to this criteria NASA JPL has classified both of the space rocks as potentially hazardous asteroids due to their predicted close passes with Earth and massive size. Asteroid impacts could harm satellites, power grids, and other vital systems, disrupting communication, electricity, and economy. Asteroids are ancient space rocks left over from the formation of the solar system. Thought to have brought complex molecules and possibly early life to Earth, billions of years ago. One of these tow space rock is asteroid 517681, 2015 DE198. NASA JPL has classified 2015 DE198 as a potentially hazardous asteroid due to its predicted close pass with Earth. 2015 DE198's orbit is determined by observations dating back to March 8, 1953. 2015 DE198 was discovered by PanStars-1 in February, 2015. Its absolute magnitude of 18.9 suggests a diameter of roughly 0.6 kilometers. A light curve amplitude of 0.27 mag that may indicate a shape with a low elongation. The spectral class and optical albedo are unknown, but this object was observed by NASA's NEOWISE mission in 2018. So it should be possible to estimate the diameter and optical albedo from existing observations. It was last officially observed on October 31, 2021. The IAU Minor Planet Center records 456 observations used to determine its orbit. Five one seven six eight one two thousand fifteen DE one ninety eight is a Apollo class asteroid whose orbit crosses the orbit of Earth. Two thousand fifteen DE one ninety eight orbits the Sun every one thousand and eighty days. Coming as close as 0.86 astronomical units and reaching as far as 3 Australian dollars and 26 cents from the Sun. Based on its brightness and the way it reflects light, 2015 DE198 is probably between 0.439 to 0.982 kilometers in diameter. making it larger than 97% of asteroids but small compared to large asteroids, very roughly comparable in size to the Golden Gate Bridge. Now let's check out the second space rock named Asteroid 439437, 2013 and K4. This asteroid is part of the Apollo asteroids, which are located close to Earth. 
The eccentricity of this asteroid's orbit is recorded at 0.550, while its absolute magnitude is 18.8. NASA JPL has classified 2015 DE-198 as a potentially hazardous asteroid due to its massive size and close approach to Earth. The near-Earth asteroid 2013 NK-4 is predicted to come within nine lunar distances of Earth. Based on its brightness, 2013 NK4 is predicted to have a diameter somewhere between 400 and 1,000 meters. Meaning it would cause extreme local devastation with potentially global effects on the climate if it were to impact Earth. Luckily, it doesn't seem like we're in any danger of an impact from 2013 and K4 within at least the next century. But close approach events like this are the best way to update the asteroid orbit so we can be prepared in case anything changes. The 2013 NK-4 will be visible worldwide starting April 13th all the way through April 30th. Will these asteroids will hit Earth? The potential for an asteroid impact on Earth is a serious concern. But with the current capabilities in asteroid detection and tracking, as well as potential mitigation strategies, the risks can be managed. As of the latest information available, no asteroid is expected to hit Earth in 2024. It is important to continue supporting and advancing NEO monitoring programs to ensure any future threats can be identified and addressed in a timely manner.